the Patriots just got a double dose of great news. And I'm going to break down the first one, but you're going to have to wait until the back half of the video to find out the second one because I promise you guys are going to be excited. They're actually listening to us, I think. Why? Because there might be adding on to the offensive line, but we're going to have to wait and see. Number one, multiple players are back at practice. That is just music to my ears because I didn't actually realize how many players we've been playing without. And I'm going to say something that might be a little controversial. Does anybody else think the NFL has 10 times more injuries to start off this season than any other season out there? I mean, I feel like there is a new injury every single day including the Patriots, because when you look all the way back to Sion Takitaki, I mean, I'm talking before preseason injuries. Christian Barmore, blood clot. City So gets hurt of week three of the preseason. Kendrick Bourne has been on the IR, and then Marte Mapu still out with an undisclosed injury. You're ready for the first dose of great news. Several players made an appearance at practice. And by several, I mean all five players were at practice. Not actually practicing some of them, but just showing their faces, talking to the guys, making sure they're still with the team. Sion Takitaki and Christian Barmore are still out for the future as far as I am concerned. But City So is actually questionable to return this week. That's huge for the offensive line, for the love. Kendrick Bourne is also progressing because you got to think IR is just the first four weeks and we're heading into week four right now. Kendrick Bourne could be back as soon as next Monday. And then Marte Mapu, he was in attendance at practice, but he's still working through that undisclosed injury. So here is what Mark Daniels had to say about the possibilities the Patriots may be facing in the next coming days. This weekend, so is expected to return as the starting left guard. By next week, the Patriots have several players eligible to return from the physically unable to perform list, a.k.a. PUP, from the injured reserve list as well. Most notable are Sion Takitaki, Marte Mapu, and Kendrick Bourne. That is huge in terms of the offense and the defense, and we're going to break it down here on today's show. But if you guys are excited just for the Patriots to get a little bit healthier, Go on ahead, like this video for me because this is making me smile from ear to ear, knowing that I may see these players back in action as soon as Sunday against the 49ers. At least that is what may happen here for City So. Let's talk about the update on that left guard because that was a huge loss to the Patriots to deal with. And now knowing that Michael Jordan is also hurt, questionable, having City So back would be a major upgrade, not to mention, if you can start to work on your right tackle position, move Unwinu back to that right guard and have that double dose of so and Unwinu on your guard positions, that would be the best thing for the Patriots right now. But here's Gerard Mayo's latest update on City So. He'll be out there today, which was on Monday, hopefully moving around a little bit. And we'll see how he responds the next day and the next day and start to go like that. Once again, it's still early in the season, and we'll see how it goes. So he's also trying to address whether or not if City So comes back, will he take over Michael Jordan's spot immediately. But just knowing that City So is practicing on Monday in a very limited fashion leads me to believe that even if City So comes back in week four, week five as a spot behind Michael Jordan doesn't mean he won't take reps. And I'll still take the extra depth. Because when you look at what a fully healthy offensive line can look like, having City So right there at left guard, I personally think this is already an improvement. I would keep Caden Wallace at the left tackle instead of Verdarian Lowe. I will give Verdarian Lowe his flowers. He held off Trey Hendrickson in week one very well. But when it came to week two and he got injured towards the end of the game, Brissett saw a lot of pressure on that left side, but so at that left guard, and like I said, you continue to move Mike and Wenu inside and take him out of that right tackle spot, this could be a huge progressing movement for the Patriots' offensive line, just getting better day by day. Because I do still like Layden Robinson, but I would like him underneath City. So, But let's talk about the offense, right? Let's talk about Kendrick Bourne and what he could do for the Patriots receiver room. And once again, it's like a, it's like a totem pole, right? It starts with your offensive line, though, because we do still have good receivers. But what's the point if you can't throw to them? 
So once the offensive line is fixed, then you can talk about receivers. So that leads me to Kendrick Bourne. Gerard Mayo's update on Kendrick Bourne coming off the IR. He's running fast, looks good in his routes. When he's ready to be out there, he's going to be out there. And here's the beauty of it. You know Kendrick Bourne loves to talk his talk. He told fans he wants to be ready for week five. That's next week, my boy. But apparently he's feeling so good right now, and Gerard Mayo just emphasizing that he looks good in his routes is making me believe he has not skipped a beat. I personally have not seen Kendrick Bourne in any of his improvements. But once he did hit the IR, knowing that he got an injury last season, it's going to take a while for him to find his footing. I'm not, Hopefully I'm not multiple games. But if he were to return in Week 5 against the Dolphins, that would be huge against a really struggling Dolphins offense and defense right now. So here's my question for you. Do you want Kendrick Bourne to play in week five, or would you rather see him wait a little bit and maybe just keep this thing rolling with the receiver room that we have right now? Nonetheless, hit that like button for me because we are about to get into our double dose of good news. But first, Factor, our sponsor here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. If you guys are not using Factor, what are you doing? Honestly, are you eating out every day? Because I know I don't have time to make all these delicious meals you see right here on the menu. These are all factor meals with over 35 different options to choose from and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week. You're always going to find something new to explore, so no sense in going through TikTok or Pinterest and finding the same recipe over and over and over again. You get to treat yourself to restaurant-quality meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, blackened salmon. And you get to enjoy effortless support to your lifestyle by choosing six menu preferences to help you manage calories, maximize your protein intake, avoid meat, or simply just want to eat better. Because I love, love, love putting good things in my body. Don't take that weird good food in my body. So I love the fact that Factor Meals provides me with all the options, especially since I don't eat red meat. So I always like to try to have my protein intake a little bit different in chicken and fish and beans. But I know that Factor Meals is going to cater to my preferences and I'm sometimes a picky eater. So that's huge. So if you guys want to go on ahead and get started with Factor Meals and they are just ready in two minutes, ready to eat no matter what, fresh, never frozen, chef crafted meals, Go on ahead, head to factormeals.com slash patchchat50 and use code patchchat50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code patchchat50 at factormeals.com slash patchchat50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while your subscription is still active. There was a practice squad signing that you guys need to be aware of. And I know it's just a practice squad, but hey, the way that injuries have been happening, it's good to add somebody in the depth chart, whether it's on the 53-man or they're still practicing right next door in Foxborough. So let's talk about that recent signing that's making me believe the Patriots are not tanking this season and they're trying to improve their roster right now. We're talking about Jalen McKenzie, the latest offensive lineman that the Patriots signed to the practice squad. Six foot five, 315 pounds, holy big boy. College, USC. He's been on the practice squad since two years ago when he did come into the NFL. Excuse me, three years ago, including this season, that he came into the NFL. He's been with the Seahawks, most recently the Las Vegas Raiders, and he came into the league to the Tennessee Titans. So here's what you guys should know about Jalen McKenzie and really how this fits in. I like the fact that he's going to be a swing tackle. He is a swing tackle, but the fact that he has experience at your left and right tackle and at left guard. Remember how earlier in the video I was talking about if you can kind of figure out that right tackle position, anything to move Mike and Winu back inside to right guard, that's going to improve your roster tremendously. And with what he did in the preseason, because he played all three games in the preseason, he played 59 snaps, he allowed zero sacks and two pressures at the tackle position, and PFF gave him a grade in the preseason of pass protection, which, my God, we need pass protection more than I need to win the lottery. And let me tell you, your girl is broke. We need pass protection. They gave him 72 and a half for his PFF grade. That's not bad for a guy that's been on practice squads. Learn the system a little bit, and then I could see them elevating him eventually to the 53-man roster and moving somebody back down. Because this is what our offensive line looks like right now, and it's not bad, but Michael Jordan, knowing that he's questionable, Verdarian Lowe, questionable, 
you still have a missing piece there at that left guard position. And then, of course, Layden Robinson, who I do think is doing a really good job on the right side, but if he could just play right tackle, a lot of our problems would be solved between Nwenu and the right guard position. But you can always use a little versatility at several positions on this offensive line, which is why signing a practice squad player is the first step. It is. See how he is, see how he does with the offense, run him in practice, and then elevate this man. Elevate this man and put him right now in a jersey on Sunday because I need more depth in the offensive line. And if you guys feel the same way, do one thing for me. Hit that like button. If you want to keep beefing up the O-line, obviously something's working. I don't know if Elliot Wolf spends his time on YouTube watching Patriots Today by Chat Sports, but we've been saying this and our answers are coming true. Hit that like button for me and go Patriots.